everyone. Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop and we are very happy to see you here today. We had a fabulous Thanksgiving. It was a wonderful turkey. It turned out so amazing and the pumpkin pie was so delicious. Nothing better than homemade. We have a fun little project we're doing into it. It's a self challenge. It's drawing with thread. So I've kind of sketched out a little bit of a Halloween sort of theme here and I'm going to do my best to try and stitch that out in a pleasing manner. I've got some orange neon and my black light is on the long arm so it's going to give it a little glow on the dark sort of feel to it and we're just going to have some fun. And then I have another stitch out that we're going to do out here but it's Walt's going to do it. So it is off the belts at the moment. Okay. Uh, so it is me controlling everything that's going on. So I have a little witch's hat, a broom, a little cauldron, a bat, and a moon, and I'm just going to try and get myself around there and have some have some fun. Okay, so I think what I want to do is start myself right down here with the hat. Okay, and I didn't change. I just have a uh, just a regular glide uh, bobbin thread. I didn't change it out to this. I find it uh, the tension is much easier if you uh, just use a glide in the bottom. And then this one here is a, um, is a different brand. It's a bit thicker thread, as you can actually tell right there, as you can tell the difference. So okay, I'm just I'm so used to my little light, so I get, okay. And I kind of want to stitch up. I got 12 stitches per inch, and I'm going to uh, try and come around the top of the hat here, go around and make the brim, and then come back and do some details on like the buckle around the hat, and then maybe do the broom and then maybe echo the hat, try and do the bat, make my way down to the cauldron and see see how it goes. You don't know until you try. Oh, why is it twisted? It seems like it's twisted right around there. Uh-oh, okay, we may have to reset that. Yeah, that's all twisted around the needle. Whoop, whoop. All right, redo. Okay, let's pull that out. And somehow, when it got threaded, it got twisted. There we go. Okay. All right, try this again. Ooh, ooh, don't push away my chalk marks. I just sketched this out sort of with a chalk, with chalk, so. Okay. Got her bobbin up and her thread and it's underneath. All right, let's go back again. Do some little locking stitches. Okay. And away we go. Okay. And get those out of the way. Okay, I think I'm going to come back and do the broom first before I do the finish the hat. I'm going to give some details. It's all about the little details. I'm gonna make a project. Okay. And you're like, okay, well, how can I paint this or how can I? make it happen. I have an idea in my head. How do I make it happen? All right. Okay, I'm going to give more fullness on that broom for sure. I think we should echo pretty much echo everything at least once or not echo but you know sort of like darken the thread. It is going to be a little bit more challenging but you know what's what's the point if not challenging yourself right? So just to give it that little extra detail. And of course, the little wobbliness that you have from your own stitches. I got shaky hands. Uh, it's going to add just the detail to it, right? So let's put some uh, stitching across our broom here. OK. 
Okay, let's come back and get some more details from our, our broomy parts. I think we'll do a come back and trace around the hat and we'll come back down to the buckle. Or the band in the buckle. The band in the buckle. It sounds like a song. Okay, I'm just going to stop here a moment, drop my needle, and get this trimmed up. So it's out of my way and it's out of my vision because right now it's kind of just, it's being a visual distractant and try not to let that happen to you. Try not to let things be a visual distractant for you. Liking that so far. Okay. So like again, personal challenge, you got, you got to challenge yourself, right? Okay. I'm going to come all the way across and then back up and all the way across. And I'm going to come back down and now I'm going to try and make a little bit more of the detail of the buckly part. Okay, and then this is the locky part, so let's do that twice, here, again, Ooh, not bad, I think it's, it looks, it's looking good. Okay, now I'm going to come back over here, and we're just going to do a couple little straight lines, straight as we can get. Okay, oh, I meant to turn the other light on, hold on. There we go. There we go. Now we're cooking with Pedro. Look at us. Oh, I, I love the black light and the glow in the dark thread. It's literally my, one of my favorite things about bringing them out for Halloween. Okay, go back a couple of times. Give it some definition. Go around the brim again. Okay, very nice. And we'll go around again, and then we'll come up around the other side of the hat. It's just going to give it depth and dimension, right? So, because right in here needed another layer. And we're just going to do a little loop and then come in and make our bat. All right, let's do that again as best we can. Give it some definition. This time we're going to come around the uh, kettle, okay, gonna come in and I'm gonna do a little round here again, okay, now we want to get some flames. I'm not good at flames per se, but I do try, and I'm trying harder to get to the groove of things. So, I'm just trying to make some logs, but I realize these guys were really kind of short, so we're going to make our logs a little bit bigger. Just trying to give them a little bit of detail. All right. Now your your tr your tracings or your drawings is just a guideline to trying to so you know what you want to stick where. You don't have to go right on the line. Like this is just chalk. It's gonna disappear. Some rubbing and you know, so it's okay. If I'm not right on. It's not a big deal. It's not like I'm ruining my project or anything. I'm just trying to give myself an idea of kind of where I want to stick things. There we go. A little bit of oval shape on the end of those logs goes a long way visually. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Okay, now we just try and do a little flamey flame here. And more flamey flame here. 
This fire is cooking. It's got some party started. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna go up a few of them. Okay, so that's around there, and then we're going to go the other side of the bat, right? And I think I'm going to echo the bat a little bit. That gets me a little bit closer to the moon. Of course, we know the moon is made of Swiss cheese, so we gotta put some holes in it. <laughs> okay well that's pretty much I'm just going to finish that up do a little echo and that's it so thank you uh, actually uh, I'll save the other stitch out for for next time so you can see I'm going to try and do something uh, uh, again uh, Halloweeny for next Wednesday and the challenge to myself you got any suggestions uh, we could do a um, a, a mummy, a Frankenstein, you need, you, leave some comments below and I'm, I'm happy to take on the challenge. So we'll see, we we'll see what I can, uh, what you guys come up with. So, um, thank you everybody. Big hugs to you. Uh, we'll see you Saturday for the live stream and we were, we are given, uh, uh having a giveaway. So, um, I hope to see you there. Big hugs. Thank you very much for joining us. Hope you have an amazing day and hopefully you get a chance to challenge yourself on your craft that you love. Big hugs. See you soon.